fragrance. I'll be using a lot of sesame seeds in it, which gives it a flavor and make it very crispy. I'll be making it in two parts. First, I'll make the potato mixture and stick it on the bread piece. Then I'll dip it in the batter, put a lot of sesame seeds and deep fry them. It's ideal for parties, for tea time. So let's start making the sesame fingers. Here is the ingredient list. You can also find it in the description of this video. Let's start with the base mixture first. Take potatoes. These are boiled and mashed potato. To this, add green chilli, red chilli powder, cumin powder, amchur powder, garam masala powder, add little salt to it and mix everything well. Do not add too much of salt as we are going to add some salt in batter. Mix it well and keep it aside. Let's make the batter for coating the breadstick. This is all purpose flour. Add red chilli powder. Add little salt. Add little water at a time and make a thick batter. Give it a good mix. We don't want any lumps in this batter. It should be smooth. We are looking for this consistency. Let's keep it aside. Now let's cut the bread. I'll cut each bread in four pieces. Take one piece, put some tomato ketchup on it, put the potato mixture, gently press it so all the mixture gets stick to the ketchup in the bread. We'll do same with the other pieces. Now the breadsticks are ready. I'll coat them in the batter, sprinkle some sesame seeds and I'll deep fry them. I'll prepare them in batches. I'll use three breadstick in one batch. So let's coat the breadstick with batter. Take the breadstick in your hand and coat it from all the side with the batter. Keep it on the tray. We'll do with the other breadsticks also. Make sure the sticks are completely covered in batter. Sprinkle sesame seeds on them. And I'll deep fry them. Make sure to turn them occasionally. We'll fry till they become deep brown in color. It might take a couple of minutes. We should fry these breadsticks on the medium high heat. The important part is do not coat the breadstick ahead of time. Otherwise they will become soggy and they will break. Coat them only just before frying. As you can see, they are golden brown in color. It's time to take them out. Mm, they smell so good. They look so crunchy, so crispy. Yum, yum, yum. Let me serve them. Serve these sesame fingers hot. Enjoy them with your friends and family. For more recipes, visit my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time.